Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This video is put together to inform you of a serious, subversive undertaking progressing every day by Islam in this country and abroad. Please listen closely to these facts I am about to give you, for they are the heartbeat and visible methods of the Islamic agenda to overthrow the United States from within. Fact number one, terminate America's freedom of speech by replacing it with hate crime bills statewide and nationwide. Number two, wage a war of words using minority and other visible religious personalities to promote Islam as the original religion. Number three, engage the American public in dialogues, discussions, debates, and colleges universities, public libraries, radio, TV, churches and mosques on the virtues of Islam. Proclaim how it is historically another religion like Judaism and Christianity with the same monotheistic faith. Number four, nominate Muslim sympathizers to political office for favorable legislation to Islam and support potential sympathizers by blocking vote. Check out your legislative candidates, please. Number five, take control of as much of Hollywood, the press, TV, radio, and the internet by buying the corpora corporations or a controlling stock. Number six, yield to the fear of imminent shutoff of the lifeblood of America, their oil. Number seven, anytime Islam is criticized or the Quran is analyzed in the public arena, they are required to yell foul, out of context, personal interpretation, hate crime, Zionist, un-American, inaccurate interpretation of the Quran. Number eight, encourage Muslims to penetrate the White House, specifically with Islamists who can articulate a marvelous and peaceful picture of Islam. Like I said before, check out your candidates. Acquire government positions, get membership in local school boards, train Muslims as medical doctors to dominate the medical field, research in pharmaceutical companies, take over the computer industry, establish Middle Eastern restaurants throughout the U.S. to connect planners of Islam in a discreet way. Number nine, accelerate Islamic demographic growth through massive immigration, no birth control whatsoever, Muslim men must marry American women and Islamize them, convert angry minorities and turn them into militants. Number ten, reading writing, arithmetic, and research through the American educational system, mosque, and student centers should be sprinkled with dislike of Jews, evangelical Christians, and democracy. Number 11. Provide very sizable monetary Muslim grants to colleges and universities in America to establish centers for Islamic studies with Muslim directors to promote Islam in higher education institutions. I advise you to check out Columbia University and their Middle East studies and their professors. Number 12. Let the entire world know through propaganda, speeches, seminars, local and national media that terrorists have hijacked Islam. Now this is an absolute lie. It's just the opposite. Islam hijacked the terrorists. Number 13. Appeal to the historically compassionate and sensitive Americans for sympathy and tolerance towards the Muslims in America who are portrayed as mainly immigrants from oppressed countries. Now this is a, the old typical play the game of victims or victimization. Number 14. Nullify 
America's sense of security by manipulating the intelligence community with misinformation. Now we have experienced this over and over again by media reports about how they have impending attacks on bridges, tunnels, water supplies, airports, apartment buildings and malls, etc., etc. Number 15. Form riots and demonstrations in the streets demanding Islamic Sharia as a way of life, not America's justice system. And this has been going on. Number 16. Open numerous charities throughout the U.S. but use the funds to support Islamic terrorism with American dollars. Take a look at all these organizations of Islam in this country who claim to be charitable. Number 17. Race interest in Islam on America's campuses by insisting that freshmen take at least one course on Islam. Be sure that the writer is a bona fide American Christian scholar and be able to cover up the violence in the Quran and express the peaceful, spiritual, and religious aspect only. Number 18. Unify the numerous Muslim lobbies in Washington mosque, Islamic student centers, educational organizations, magazines, and papers by internet, and in an annual convention to coordinate plans, propagate the faith, and engender news in the media of their visibility. Like I said before, check out those lobbyists and who they are related to. Number 19 send intimidating messages and messengers to the outspoken individuals who are critical of Islam and seek to eliminate them by hook or crook. Number 20. Applaud Muslims as loyal citizens of the U.S. by spotlighting their voting record as the highest percentage of all minority and ethnic groups in America. Ladies and gentlemen, Great Britain, Netherlands, and other Euro countries ignored these warnings and infiltrations and they are in total chaos brought on by their warm and fuzzy political correctness. I ask the Americans to rise up and do not let this happen to America. Check these 20 items out. They're not difficult to find and pay attention to your surroundings. And I thank you. Have a good day.